Okay, so we're going to layer up my cup, and I'm still torn on what I'm going to do. <laughs> the decisions. Um, so we will just bring over our colors here, and I'm just going to go right in with, actually it doesn't really matter which one I use, some Payne's Gray. And go from there. We're going to do some of this metallic apple green, some gold, and do some white. Now I'm not layering it down the side. I'm actually going to do a little more gold here. Let's get in with the Porridge Posse Shimmery Colored Paint, Carolina Blue, come in with the Copper Penny, <clears throat> and some Gold. Just a little bit in there. I don't want too much. And then in with the fairy tale blue, the iridescent color by Got my Payne's Gray here. I'm actually going to do that. See what kind of mess I can create. And... Okay. And we're sort of off screen, but you'll get the gist of it. We may not be able to keep it that way. It's going to go right on the floor over here. Put this under here because it's going to be a mess. All right. So I'm going to start off. Just coating all of this. I'm gonna get the stick out of here because I want to scrape my cup clean. And then I can do this.
puffy when working at a diagonal. Okay, so I'm back. I like this, but, and I love these cells, but I want to change it up a bit. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do a ring pour. And like such. I like it just the way it is. It just needs a little something else. I'm not quite sure what at this moment but I'm hoping that this um, creates something and we'll come back this way oh I see something in my paint get that out um there we go. It's probably just going to go off anyways. Lots of paint on here. Totally changing it up a lot. <laughs> but um, I'm not going to stop working at it until I get something that I like. And I think what I'm going to do is do one more small layered cup. Um, because I just feel like it's too muddy in here, but it's really not that muddy, but it, it seems that way to me. And I don't want the effects that it's giving right there to change that up a smidgen this 
So I'm just using what I have. And maybe come in with some copper penny on top of my layer of white. Um, sometimes you have to work a canvas. As you all know, to get a composition you might like. I'm like running out of the turquoise tube here. I'm just gonna get that right on in there. And get some gold. Um, I'll go from there. I'll come in with a little bit of that apple green. Maybe the rest of the Prussian green. Uh, one thing you gotta be careful with is that green can take over a painting. So be very careful as to how I'm layering this. Because I don't want the green to take over. And uh, so I gotta be a little careful. And do that. I'll come in with my, let's see, I'm just gonna do some pearl white right out of the fluid bottle because I don't wanna mix any up. that and then another thing I'm going to come in and do is put some high flow right in there mm -hmm. and I gunked up the top there we go Some in there because why not? Um, and we're coming in with a little more Payne's Gray and finally the rest of the white. And I'll do some of this. There we go. So I think that'll do it and we'll see what we come out with. This is like a hot mess. <laughs> so I'm going to get a little bit into here at this point. We'll see how that turns out. All right, move all this That's all we'll do. All right. Now let's play with this one. I'm telling you, I'm gonna get what I want soon. <laughs> if I use up all the paint in the world I've got mixed up, which I basically have, so let's pray for a good outcome. air bubbles everywhere. All right. How are we going to 
stretch it out. We're gonna go this way first. I really like what I'm seeing here. I'm just gonna bring it back. I'm gonna bring it down and off and over to here pardon not being able to see sorry about that guys and bring this back up and i'm going to go up towards the pain spray i want to stretch that out a bit I think I'm gonna need a different angle of my camera so that you guys can see what's happening the next time. This is my new camera with a light on it and I love it, but I'm just learning how to use the angle, so. Oh, I love this. I love the way it came out. I'm gonna take my gloves off right now before I muck it up. We are, it's been a tough couple of days with pouring, but that is all right. Cause sometimes we make beautiful creations when we don't succeed the first time around. And let me see here. And come in. And drag this through. That's enough. And then this one has more to it. And we're going to come through over here to integrate some of that green in that area from the first pour. And marry it with what I just did over here, or sort of. I love this. And uh, we are gonna probably leave it be. I don't think I want to blow it out anywhere. Maybe I'll add a little bit of Payne's Gray in here, but I love this outcome. And we're gonna keep it as such. Um, so many times pores don't turn out the way you want and I kept at it. That's the key. You got to keep at it, um, until you find a happy medium with, with what you've created. Um, but I, uh, just kept at this one and I'm just adding some areas with detail. Oh, I love that. That looks pretty darn cool. Of course I ruin it. <sighs> the 
let's fix it. There we go. Gives it some dimension. We'll come around and bring it right into here. There we go. Now we're going to come here. So I think that's all I'm going to do, and I'll bring you in for a close-up in just a minute. Okie dokie, here we are. I love this piece. This is the High Flow Gold in here. And in these little cells. I'm really excited. Oh, pardon the, the glare, but I love this area in here. Um, let me see if I can come over this side. Yeah, you can't really see it. Um, so, you know, just learning about this light and how to angle it. Uh, if you have any suggestions, you know, let me know. But, uh, this is, this is it. And I love, love adding high flow to my pores. Um, so if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Thanks for my, uh, <laughs> I can't talk. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, remember, check out Massey Art Studios. I've put a link at the end of this video um, and in the video description. Go tell the boys I said hello, Lee and Jeremy. They're great to watch. And um, that's all I have to say. Bye now.